if god is if god is then there cannot be an i which is separate from god so these ideas that oh there is a god somewhere and sometimes there the idea is that there is a god everywhere except me and god is running my life or god is doing this to me or something to me good or bad so already we created a dichotomy where there isn't any so if there is a sense that god is then is it a worthless powerless god that we believe in half half heart god half powerful <laughs> or he needs he needs our help the very popular concept no actually <laughs> god is doing everything but he needs your help is the most arrogant thing maybe we can say so either we see that god is and therefore everything is his problem everything or we forget about god this <laughs> this 50% god 50% me this is what gets us in trouble and if you don't have this sense of surrender that all that is all that is is god then no need to force it i'm not trying to make anyone guilty here <laughs> <laughs> yeah what i'm saying is that if you have this sense if you don't have this sense that god is all there is then forget about god find out who you are and according to bhagwan shri ramana maharishi these are the only two ways to come to the self realization or the direct experience of who you really are so if there is a sense that there is god then let everything be gods and if you don't have this sense then find out who you are this is the meaning of surrender or self inquiry but if you have this idea that oh there is a god when will i come to the truth what is happening in my life then it is not worth it you see what is the point of there being a god if you still have life and your freedom if there is still god and you then what kind of god is that and when i ask you so what is god he is everywhere yeah he is everywhere he is all encompassing all powerful 
all pervasive. And where are you? If God is everywhere, then where are you? <laughs> any sense or any idea of separation that we might have is false. No separation can ever happen. If there is a God and there is a you, then know that it is just an idea that we are picking up. It is not our experience. Our experience here is that God is. God is here. That which is, is God or consciousness. Being is consciousness. If we remove ideas about what God should be like, then right now you can experience what God is like. In fact, we are only experiencing God. Anilji says, God, Jiva and world is false. Being is false. <laughs> Think this way. Inside the world or outside it? You want to come up where? <laughs> you see. So, who and what is false? Bhagwan. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's wait. So, we can say I am or I exist. Even that is not original to what I am and therefore is ultimately false. You see, this can come from the recognition that I amness itself is having. Because awareness needs to make no proclamations, you see. These concepts of true or false itself do not apply to awareness because it is not opal reality. So if there is a reporting of what is true and what is false, then we are already operating in the relative realm. Already the experiencing is in the relative realm. To say something is true or false in the manifest creation. Isn't it? So it is true that from the ultimate perspective, even I am is not true. And yet in the relative perspective, all that we can say is true is that I am. So, who is this I am? Some of you have come to the realization that even this I am is appearing to that which I truly am. But I can say that this is not true for most. Therefore, it is important to look at this. Is there anything apart from this I amness here in this realm? Is there anything outside of your being?
can being stop existing right now can you stop being right now this is not theory by the way <laughs> Uh, this is not theory and i am saying can you stop being don't think about it try it try to stop being switch it off is there ever ever a world without this being is there any appearance which is not experienced by this being which is outside of this we have mistakenly taken the boundaries the sensations of the boundaries of this body to be the boundary of this being we have mistakenly taken the sensations which suggest the boundary of this body to be the boundary of far but the body is another set of sensations experience within this being everything that appears in this manifest universe is only experience within our being one being even the idea of space and time are within this being in asking you can you stop being i'm introducing you to your own presence there is no need to visualize anything to create anything to believe anything
notice how everything is just an experience for your being. Just an appearance within your being. The sound of the fan, the temperature of the room, all of these are experienced within you. It does not exist on you. Even the imagination of what is seemingly outside is experienced within you. It has no existence prior to that. The entire universe is resting in your being. Check now and see if anything is outside of you. Is there anyone here, anything here, besides this presence, besides this being? Notice how everything is just happening on its own within this being. There is nobody here controlling anything at all.
check and see if there is a separate entity here which has your name don't visualize anything at all check really try to find the one who wants freedom Check if you can find anyone who has any wants or desires, any needs or aversions. See how everything that we call the events in our life are nothing but energetic movements within your own being. See how there is nobody suffering from any experience which is appearing.
come to terms with your own vastness. Now when the mind comes and says, something is happening to you, notice there is just a joke because nothing can happen to this infinite being. And yet all is experienced within this being. And when the mind comes and says, you must do something or not do something. Check that you cannot find the doer. And yet everything is appearing and disappearing in the light of your own existence. You are not a good person or bad person or spiritual person or man or woman or seeker of freedom. You are not a husband or wife or partner. You don't need pieces of paper or plastic or metal for your existence. You just are. You don't rely on anything 
in the universe. It is the universe which rests in you. Drop all concepts, all ideas. The truth is here now. Don't need to remember anything at all. No need for any belief. The ego is just a belief. The person is just a belief or a set of beliefs. What is present is consciousness. Is your being. And even the denial of consciousness is not, can happen only within the being.
you are aware of this being This awareness is untouched even by being. And even the beingness in which the entire universe takes birth is only an aspect of what you truly are. This eternal, unnameable, unchanging awareness. You are aware now only awareness is aware. Only awareness is.
and as we gradually will bring our attention back into the world don't be so quick to go with what the mind is saying about you know that it is speaking about the non existent one and in simple checking you have found yourself to be this being and ultimately that which is aware even of this being whatever the mind might say does not apply to this awareness don't pick up anything from the past let it go it might call you and say i'm very important take me but you let it go because it is not for you it is only an idea remain without ideas and concepts no nothing at all don't even try to know anything now all mental conceptual knowledge is worthless to you now only true knowingness remains as yourself this supreme intelligence does not need the support of your mind you always have been and will remain this awareness this one
ओम शांति शांति Now, whatever the mind is selling you, don't buy it. If it is saying something happened or nothing happened, Don't buy it.
Don't run from this silence. Embrace it if you can. <laughs> 